Combat knives do bonus damage when attacking from behind or when an enemy is in non-battle. Enemy sight is, in, is a semicircle in front of them, so any point behind them is sufficient. Arthur is skilled in many way areas, defending, healing, movement, anti-tanking. However, he is lacking. Oh, this seems to work in fiction, places, or events. Uh, is purely coincidental. Welcome to the greatest video game ever made. Welcome to Skylight Free Range. I don't say that sarcastically or lightly. This is the greatest video game ever made. That's true. Well, um, let's do some reading. Uh, competency. Is competency? What do you? When I hit competency, nothing happens. So I guess my competency is probably zero. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's only this character learns competency. I think. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, no, I can check the competency of any character. Learn competencies. Ah! Competencies are skills. In real life, the only competencies I have are incompetencies. Can I learn any incompetencies? No. I guess incompetency just comes natural, doesn't it? So that was a silly question. Uh, weapons? There we go. Shotgun, nice. Knuckles. Pistols, oh yeah, and a combat knife. All right, whatever, um, let's just, uh, we want to look over the reference and remind ourselves what's going on in the game. Uh, oh, there's characters, cool. So I can remind myself who the characters are too. Nice. This, uh, I think it's a good idea for a game like this. <laughs> That's so much crap in it <laughs> that you can't remember anything. Uh, then you gotta you gotta have like a reference guide like this. Terminology, right? Okay, so we are Severin. Severin is this um, ancient secret organization that accidentally destroyed the world, and everybody hates them. But um, the new Severin are not so bad, and the original Severin are not so bad. But like the second generation Severin, they basically destroyed the world by accident, I guess, or by, on purpose. I don't know. Yeah, no, they 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 started the northern burning, like they're sort of like umbrella, I think, if I'm understanding correctly. So they they were way out of control, and now they're now they're trying to redeem themselves after fucking things up. Sort of like a good version of Umbrella. Like if Umbrella was like, we messed up. We're going to now protect the world from zombies. Instead of weaponizing zombies or whatever. As Umbrella tends to think they should do. So, uh, yeah. Um, so we are Severin. We're fighting against the NDC. Who are sort of slavers and fascists. That took over um, thanks to our handiwork. Um, we live in Impossible City, uh, which is uh, Winnipeg, uh, but now it's called Impossible, and we're in Canada. Uh, we live in a pizza shop uh, in Winnipeg, I think. If I'm the Severin people, work in a giant pizza shop in Winnipeg. Makes sense. It all, all makes sense. So it was a Northern Burning. Um, the Skylight Symbiote was um, part of the Northern Burning, I think, more or less, uh, or at least became big after that and um um well, let's read about it because i don't think we have read this one yet the skylight symbiote it's, it's called the impossible i think is a combination of organic metal nanomachines and competency technology created by severin known as well for its high level of flammability it was originally created for longer life and regeneration organic matter such as body parts and organs although that has and proven unsuccessful to the public and has been edited by many to serve a variety of functions. So this is, not, it's, I think this is not what I thought it was. I think this is like kind of like materia 
but it's you know it's, it's a symbiote or whatever so it's kind of like Venom or whatever uh, from Spider-Man Venom is a symbiote while trace amounts in a human system have um, few documented problem cases its most common use is to is to be given to humans in an, an overdose which turns them into monsters right like venom uh, the transformation is due to either accidental or forced bugs programmed into nanomachines due to the obvious threat to public safety skylight symbiote had been immediately deemed both a bioweapon and illegal when it was leaked to the public in 2026 and any person in possession or using the skylight symbiote would face criminal charges there are some such as a handful of indie engineers who keep it around secretly to illegally extract competency technology to improve the devices they create uh cool okay that was not what i expected but impossible is a symbiote right or Uh, I mean, it's a city, uh, burning, desecra terrible desecration of Canadian spirit, yes. Okay, wait, I want to read... One of the parts I already read before, uh, Severin. Symbiote monster, right? Oh, yeah, there it is. The symbiote monster is impossible. So, impossible is one of the symbiote monsters. Probably one of the, one of the pretty cool ones since it got a whole city named after it. And it was worshipped as a god. So, that must have been one of the big ones. Um, yeah. I've been playing for seven minutes. Uh, this is fun. Uh, competency technology. Yeah, no thanks. We'll figure that stuff out later. So, the Northern Burnings, we get that. What are liches? Because we're going to team up with the liches. I think they're a, a gang or something. And I think my group, based in the city of Steinbeck, Manitobi, we're going to try to team up with them, but I think that it may not go well. It's a, described by the main character, Joshy Bloggs, as a desperate move. Um, uh, they're based in the Steinbeck, Manitoba, that appeared only recently. I think Manitoba is a region of Canada that we are also in. I think Winnipeg is in Manitoba also. Or I should say Impossible City is also in Manitoba. Uh, despite their smaller numbers, they have the NDC at a disadvantage. And Severn wants to ally with them in order to put a stop to the NDC and to find out what they're doing well against the NDC despite smaller forces. Cool. It don't sound so bad. I don't see why it's such a desperate move. Uh, okay, we read most of this. Brandon, Stonewall, Brandon? Uh, fastest growing city. Uh, let's not worry about that right now. Cause we didn't, we we're not in, in Brandon. I don't want to read like everything. We'll read about Brandon when we get there. Um, workstation, Indestructibles, Golems, Phantoms. Alright, so I feel like we understand what's going on, don't we? Yeah. We're Severn. We're fighting the NDC. We're going to team up with the Liches. I understand what's going on. It's wonderful. And I walk funny and I'm a giant. <laughs> I have to say these are giant socks. These white boots are <laughs> look like giant socks. She should put some shoes on. <laughs> Okay, or I should, since I'm Joshy Bloggs, clearly, and this is Joshy Bloggs. Joshy Bloggs, my snicker do. That's her name. Uh, I think I read this one already, but let's just read it again. Uh, man, if only people... Oh, oops. Knew we were down here. They'd string us up, right, because of the Northern Burning. I read that one already, that's why I'm not reading the whole thing again. Otherwise, I read the whole thing. Wait, there's another thing here that I haven't done yet. Oh, no, no. 
Right, this is the area with the guards. That's where I came from, was the other room. And... Oh, maybe now we can leave, I guess. This is the pizza shop where we have our hideout. Pretty cool. I like this music in the background. Very pretty. Just like our sweet Joshy blogs. Very pretty. I did it! I went through the door and I'm in I'm in an identical room. Oh, it's not identical. <laughs> I was I shouldn't have spoken so quickly. This room is not identical to the other one. It's totally different. And now we're gonna talk to Abraham Lincoln, I mean Beller. Beller, you got some bangs, but you can't compete with my bangs, okay? You have your orders. Duh! Meet up with Professor Steiner at the, <laughs> at the uh, it's imperative we do what we can to drive up. Ah, okay, okay, there we go. You have your orders, meet up with Professor Steiner at Stanley Tanner University of Brown. I love this. It's imperative we do all we can to drive out the NDC. I know you will do what is best. That's why we have this overhead angle <laughs> to, um, for that reason. Not because we can't read the dialogue any other way. It's dramatic, it's awesome. All right, we talked to Beller again, or should I say Baller? Because he's a baller. And um, yeah, we could, we're prepared to leave and, and go out into the world. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's just do a little bit of whatever this game has in it. Ah, I'm outside. Oh no, I'm in, I'm not, I can't be outside. It must be in a different part of the pizza shop that is made of wood. It has the same floor though. Beautiful music. What a wonderful game. It makes me happy to be alive in this game. We truly live in the cutting age of video games. <gasps> Ooh, whoa, cinema. Social situation. Joshi Blogs' apartment is located in this complex here in Portchage La Prairie, which I guess is also across the street from the that's just convenient being across the street from your secret base. Additional story sequences can be accessed through regularly returning here and contacting your friends. An exclamation point indicator will appear in the apartment's contact friends choice and in the friends submenu in the field menu. Cool. Very cool. At this point, you can do whatever you choose in Skylight Free Range, whether it be the main quest, side quests, exploring, dungeon crawl, crawling, or social situations. Have fun. That's the end of the tutorial. I love that. What a great tutorial. Can I talk to these guys? I can't talk to them. But I think, see, I have friends with an exclamation point. And these are, these friends that I have traveling with me are some of the friends that I could talk to. Am I wrong? They're not in the um, other room. Are they the, the other ones? When I go to the um, this room, they're not standing around here, are they? No, they're not. So if I can find my friends in life, then I can talk to them. I think. They're social because they're social situations to be had with my friends. Let's go do that. That's my favorite thing in game: is socializing with NPCs and stuff. It's fun. Look at the beautiful blue sky. Other games try to like add like a lot of sunsets and stuff but this game just has like blue sky and some some white cloud that just is sort of like on the horizon not high up these clouds are not trying to show off they're like we're low we're low low flying clouds um it's very bad that you can't look up looking up is huge i hope that in skylight free range they fix that problem <laughs> Because uh, looking up is important, I think, and you can't look up in this game. Ask ask Jim Sterling if you can look up in Skylight Free Ranch too. So I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Wonder Metal Pizza is an abandoned Wonder Metal Pizza, <laughs> but we we're walking out of it in the middle of a city, and yeah, I guess we we did it. We knew that nobody was standing around. Nobody saw us come out. It's in broad daylight, though. I, I thought that I imagine the abandoned pizza would be out in the wilderness or something. Like, like, like a small, like a suburban area. We're right across from the police station. But, but, 
but we're a secret base that's illegal and everybody hates us. And we're right next to the police station. That's not... Well, I no one would suspect that this abandoned Wonder Pizza next to the police station is actually a um, Severn organization. All right, well, let's go to my apartment before we go into the police station uh, and do social situations. Oh, I can save here, but there's no point saving. Security. Hello there, how is your day going? Uh-huh. That's, uh, ugh. Well, okay, we can do this. Hello there, how's your day? Uh, huh, great. That's super, wow, just fantastic. Just great, mm-hmm. Oh, he's nice. I like that guy. All right, we're doing great. Uh, let's go do social situations. Oh, uh, there's no door behind me, is there? Oh, there it is. It's just a different door. <laughs> because it's, it's a whole different door. I guess it, it's because, um, don't laugh at it. It's because it was a skip scene. See, because this is the door. This is my apartment right here, I think. And the, the other door was like a door into the, you know, the area where you, the hallway area. So they, they skipped a scene. That's why it's a different door, clearly. Today on Who Ate My Face? <laughs> John Socrates, Deep Solington. Oh, oh, John Socrates, why? Why must you go to the glacier of the Excassive Building? Astralina. I hope I can read that again because I missed some. Please, John, do you love me? Don't you love me more than that vicious trumpet, Radiatina? Of course I do, Astralina. You're my one and only, if only for today. Then why? Nobody comes back from the glacier of excessive binding. The vampire of soul binding is in there and it must be stopped. The number of souls that will be bidden. Oh my dear, sweetie Johnny, if your own soul is bidden, I don't know what I would do. Don't cry, Astralina, my pumpkin. I've come back from worse, like my epic battle with the Duke of something. No, John, you won't come back, you're safe. Your F, what, what? Uh, it is, does not matter. The vampire of soul biting is invisible. He must be an anime. Will John Socrates survive in the glacier of excessive soul binding? Will his soul be bitten? Um, I missed that. All right, well, today on Who My Face, John Socrates soul binding, uh, Solington questions of something. Uh, Australia, I don't know, Australia, am I a man? Tiki, of course. Don't you remember last night with me and Radia Tina? No, no, I mean, what makes a man a man? My muscles, my body chemistry, my f f f fantastic manhood? So you go, what are you saying, John? Are you actually a woman? No, no, what if my philosophy drive mode makes me better than any gender to ever exist? If humanity operates on its base instincts and each sex has its own operational procedure, then what if I am something completely different? A being that operates via a philosophy, what if I am simply a pure and far more better at human being than you are, Astralina? Maybe I'm not a male or even a female. Maybe I'm a philosopher male. That's fine with me, Johnny. You're the sexiest philosopher male without a face I ever met. The sexiest you ever met. How many other philosopher males have you been with? <laughs> That's what he takes away from that. This show's good. I, I don't want to play the video game anymore. I just want to watch... This anime that I like about John Socrates, he's he's pretty cool. I always wondered like what is Socrates all about because people are always like Socrates, Socrates, and actually it's pretty good. It's like Socrates is pretty cool. I like it. Welcome back to David Craig Late Night Show. With us is our repeated guest, Premier Stanley something. Applause. Yeah. Hi everyone. Good to be back. So, Premier Tanner, sir, let's talk about the celebrities you've been hanging out with lately as a result of Who Ate My Face Con. Well, yes, I've been hanging out with Catherine Blue, uh, my lovely Astralina on Who Ate My Face. Applause. I like that show. I think that's the one with John Socrates, right? Wow, that must have been quite an experience. It sure was, Dave. We talked about co-star Jeffrey Wick, who, as we all know, plays John Socrates, Steve Solington. And let me tell you, I was so aroused, I wanted to tear her shirt off and bang her. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's noble of you to tune out your base desires. Yes, I think it's absolutely terrible for women to be viewed as shallow sex objects. I will pass lens to end these. Yeah, uh, I think Anita Sarkeesian will like that. Applause. 
Uh, it's, it's not giving me enough time to read. It's uh, unfortunate. I should keep. I don't know. Should I read, watch some more TV? I guess so. From the creators who have made my face comes a legendary new series. Hardball detective Dirk Boostam is punched so hard in the head he gets amnesia localized something. I ran so, as quickly as I could to the crime scene. How could you have known? I arrived and saw my brother, but I didn't recognize him. What I was, what was I to think of the amnesia? Can I pause or something? No feelings for my dead father. This was depressing. It was as if, and nobody attended any of them. I have to read this fast. Who did this? I muttered on the nearby police officer. A man named Carnacle, perhaps. The police officer seemed taken aback, but responded, How do you know Carnacle? Anyway, no, this isn't an ML of guns. I hocked the loogie at the ground in disappointment at my lost lead. The shape of mucus formed it. How appropriate. The city is filled with nothing but phlegm and death. Who I ha not have my brother... Are you going to be a part of this investigation, Boostop? No, I responded. <sighs> this is going to be a problem, especially if, if I get to cinemas later in the game that are kind of important and I can't read them. <laughs> That'll be a problem, won't it? Um, well, whatever. TV uh, is almost good, but um, the problem is that you can't, you can't enjoy it because you can't, you can't read it. I just had to give up on it eventually. Um, there's supposed to be socializing here, but there's no socializing. It's just my, just my apartment. I don't understand. I failed at socializing. That's sad. I can't talk to these guys. You guys won't talk to me, will you? No, they won't. Um. Okay. Well. And I don't want to save just yet. Let's let's go do something. Let's go to the police and see if they'll arrest us, or we can fight them. I guess they won't because they don't know who we are. And all I run is with the indie engineers. They've been a law-abiding group for the most part, but they're seriously unhinged. Stay away from them if you don't like weird. Hi there, how can I help you? Um, I don't know, can you help me? It's not gonna, why is it not going away? Cause that's weird, like usually the dialogue go, just goes away before I have a chance to read it. And now it's just staying there forever. Wow, yeah, he's, he's stuck with the dialogue. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, I thought I could go through all doors by hitting X, but I can. Some doors are just walls. <laughs> so, exclamation points next to friends. Um, all my friends who are currently with me, like Mia, um, I'm supposed to socialize with them, but I just don't know how. Wow. Re-elect Stanley Tanner from Premiere. I saw him on TV. Or else you're a bigot. True. I, I'm definitely... I just want to say I'm definitely for the re-electing of Stanley Tanner. I'm not some kind of bigot that is opposed to Stanley Tanner. It's just that it specifically told me that I could go into my apartment building to socialize with my friends, which is something that I love to do in games. But then when you go in, you can't. Oh, yes, you can. There's another door there, right? Wait, is that the same door? No, that's just one door. Isn't it? Wait. Wait, there's that door there, and then there's that door. Oh, this is probably the socializing door. All my friends live in my house or something. Contact friends, there we go, yes. Um, let's contact. Um, let's just go. Um, I'm curious about um, Dominic Gladstone. I think he's the one that looks like Professor X. Nope, I was wrong. Hello, Joshy Blogs. Did, I got an introductions trophy. 
Did you want to discuss something, perhaps work-related? See, this is nice. It's dialogue that's at the bottom, and you can read it. And then you hit um, X, um, and then then you can read more. So it, it just leaves the dialogue there for me, which is great. That's how that's how you should do dialogue. So we're off to destroy the NDC, are we? A most noble goal, and one we can succeed at if we play our cards right. Everything that I pick, I, I, I've noticed that every, everything that my character says is always something I get to choose. It's never something that's um, automatic, which is a little much. <laughs> so, okay. We can be we can be observant or we can ask a question. Um doesn't bother you that we're going to destroy your former colleagues? Of course not. They're not my colleagues now. Besides, don't we know what the NDC truly are? I like how his face is blocked by my shoulder. I don't even know who I'm talking to. He's got a brown shirt and matches my skin tone, I think. Which just looks weird. It looks kind of like she has an extra arm or something. Or that his body is brown and he's wearing a bikini. But his face is pale. <laughs> Not my colleagues now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's over. He, I feel dumb that I thought Dominic might be upset about killing his former colleagues. They're a large bunch of criminals who were organized after the Northern Burning and used their popularity and mass whining to garner sympathy and avoid jail. Yeah, I mean, I think they're also using their weapons and power and stuff like that to avoid jail. Not just whining. <laughs> Popularity and mass whining. <laughs> In the end, criminals are criminals. And it's all a matter of what, what gang will give me the most of what I want. Which I guess is Severin, for now. Well, that's enough for today. Ta-ta. I did it. I socialized. That was awesome. Let's have a look at this. Yep, uh, Dominic and I have socialized for the day. That was, um, I would have to say that's better than the socializing in Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, maybe also better than the socializing in Grand Theft Auto 5. I can't remember what that socializing was like. Did I just skip the socializing? I think I did. Yeah, it's better than those socializings. So, well done, whoever made this game. Uh, I still want to find the guy who looks like Professor X. Maybe it's, um, Arthur Danson. There he is, Professor X. Hey, Joshua Blogs, what's up? Want to talk about work? Wait, let me... Oh, computer. Oh, great, hot. Hey, Joshua Blogs, what's up? Want to talk about work? I can't believe we got that fuckhead Dominic with us. I was the one who arrested him after his years of murder and destruction. Now he's out, thanks to Bella. What could have been going through his head? An NDC consultant? Really? Seriously? Um... What do you think we should do? We need all the help we can get there. Hmm... Um... Yeah, Dominic does seem like a nut job. <laughs> I don't understand Dominic at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with him. How do you think Dominic's how bad do you think Dominic's presence will make things? The destruction left in his wake? Dominic's like a miniature northern burning. Watch yourself around him, Joshy Bloggs. Well, I better be off. See you around, Joshy Bloggs. I like it he calls me Joshy Bloggs. This seems fun. What the hell is this? <laughs> Alright, let's do some more socializing. Um, contact friends. Alright, let's talk to some of the girls. Some of the girls. Me allow. Hello, Joshy Blocks. <laughs> do you want to talk about something? I love this camera angle. Why do they all come to her house? I guess I can just... I'm their boss, so I'm just summoning them to my house. <laughs> uh, I think I make them all live in my closet, if I'm not mistaken. Did you want to talk about work? Um, 
Well, everyone's so excited about taking on the NDC, I have some other worries. Namely, the Exorcist character. Beller said you crossed paths before. Uh, let's make about friendship. We did. He killed my friends in Saskatoon, and he'll pay. I'm sorry that happened. We'll track down the bastard and put an end to him. If he destroys us, who else will stop the NDC? Well, I'm going to be heading off. Have a good night, Joshy Blacks. I keep forgetting the name of that person they just mentioned, but maybe if I see it there. Beller is here. Okay, so all my eight friends and colleagues are here, and Silas Beller, but not Joshy Blocks. They should put Joshy Blocks as a character too. I'd like to know more about Joshy Blocks, because I mean they are making up Joshy Blocks, even though Joshy Blocks is me. They're still making up the like, where where she came from or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it has it here. <coughs> Saskatoon, what does it say? Stonewall. I'm curious about Stonewall because that's, you know, that's uh, it's a place in New York. Very important place. Stonewall is close proximity to Impossible. It makes it a frequent site for NDC attacks. The old limestone quarries have been have to be reopened. Uh, not connected to New York Stonewall, clearly. To rebuild or repair some buildings as trucks with building supplies headed for Stonewall are constantly attacked and destroyed by the NDC. It's possible Stonewall is also a place in uh, Winnipeg or now Impossible City. Unfortunately, some of the NDC have also uh, captured the quarries and decided to live there. Stonewall would have become just another NDC territory if it weren't for the centuries of Vancouver-based military police that has expanded greatly over the years. They provide protection and drive out most of the NDC attacks. But this, this, this music is starting to get to me. But money and resources are tight on the Stonewall chapter of the Sentinels. And many are worried that the Sentinels may be forced to pull out, leaving the city defenseless. This music's ridiculous. Alright, let's let's try and get through a little a little more socializing. Oh, don't think about the music. Should I turn the music off? I probably can. Hopefully I can. If I can't, uh, data, I can save, load, and delete anywhere I want. Awesome, old school. Um, uh, <laughs> how do I, how do I turn the music off? I don't think I can. No. <laughs> no. Oh God, no. Yeah, this is music is horrible, isn't it? Maybe I should just sing everything to the music. Quest, 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 quest. quest. Weapons AI data. Okay, there's definitely no controls or settings or anything like that, right? I'm not missing anything. It's just not there, and that would mean that there's no no turning the music off. How horrible! Oh well. Um, let's contact our friends. Yeah, we're gonna stop soon. I can't take too much of one of this. Let's talk to another girl and then we'll save the game after this. Uh, Haley White. Haley, what's up, Joshy Blogs? Got work on the noggin. It's so awesome that we're on an epic quest to stop the vile NDC and save the world. Aren't you excited, Joshy Box? Aren't you? Eee! Oh, I like her. I want to say we're positive with her. Yep, can't wait to make things better across Manitoba. Like a boss. Yeah, I'm so tone pumped. Now I gotta go home and finish up the project combining ketchup and pool cues. Uh, how else can I let off this excess energy? 
ketchup and pool kills. Um, sounds dope. Well, I'm off. Okay, uh, I don't think she's a real scientist. Let's look at that character. I need to know who this is. Um, <laughs> references. Okay, who the hell is that? Who did I just talk to? Haley? Haley's out of her fucking mind. Haley, why? Haley grew up in Portugal, La, Port Portage La Perry, an only child of rich parents who doted on her and made sure she grew up with everything she wanted. She took an interest at an early age in mechanics, a hobby that eventually evolved into engineering. Yeah, I don't think she's a real engineer because she's combining ketchup and pill cures. That's what I was worried about. I know he's gonna say like she stopped engineering and became like a hipster or something. But let's, let's keep reading. With her parents' vast resources, she was able to constantly explore new avenues and improve her skills, eventually becoming a prominent member of the Indie Engineers. Uh, prominent? With the ketchup and pool cues? She traveled across Canada over the years, seeking out new Indie Engineering techniques while showing off her own skills. Maybe it's the future. Like, in the future, people will figure out ketchup and pool cues. It's like, we'll create like the cure for cancer or something it's, it's possible um, a Severn executive was amazed at her skill and knowing the vast yeah he was amazed he was like whoa catching a few pool cues oh shit and <laughs> knowing the vast potential indie engineers had with building combat devices quickly in the field in the field she was invited to join Severn ghosts in September 2040 that's, that's like, uh, it's coming up. This is we're pretty soon. This stuff's going to be happening. Aside from their skills and interest in engineering, Haley also shares most of her indie engineer's tastes in pop culture. A huge fan of edgy and artistic shows such as Who Ate My Face? Oh yeah, I love that show. Haley also takes her interests and personal habits much farther than most of her friends and colleagues do, to the point of weirding out and alienating many. Her exhibitionism and bizarre culinary uses are and concoctions have either heavily disgusted those who see her or have made her appear to be a rebel of society impressing others. <laughs> Wait, my face. That's like really good. That's actually a really good title. That should have been, they should have just thrown out Skylight Free Range and threw all this crap out and made the Who Ate My Face game. Because <laughs> that's awesome. Alright, so we met, we met some people. Um, yeah. Uh, I think we've been playing this game long enough. Perhaps too long. Time to move on. Let's uh, let's go save. Change party members? Uh, no. But it just auto saved, which is good. And um, we'll save the video clip right here. Or we'll should I exit to the main menu? Maybe I like to do that, and then you can just look at the opening screen. Skylight, free range. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, loving it. The greatest video game ever made. You're welcome everyone, you're welcome.